Yo, what's going on? This is a video about my process of creating myself as a 3D character. Let's check it out. Let's check out the results. There we go. Um, that's me. That's me, man. That's me if I was Puerto Rican. That's me if I was Puerto Rican and if my name was Frederico. That's, that's me. Uh, yo soy Frederico. <laughs> That's me, man. My name is Frederico. I really like these results, man. I mean, these results are incredible compared to what the process used to be. Like, this is this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The technology these days, man. Just incredible, dog. And this is my favorite lighting. Tungsten. Look, man. It's me. It me. Look at that jawline. Look at that jaw. <laughs> And matter of fact, I feel like I look more like my dad than I do actually me. You know, look just like him, man. Like, look. Look just like him. Same guy. Frederico, dad. Frederico, papa. <laughs> um, look like my dad and a little like my mom's. That's my mom's. That's not my mom's. Technology these days, I tell you. And like some of this lighting, like if I change the lighting to like portrait, I, I turn into like Lorenz Tate. Like, <laughs> I turn into Lorenz Tate all of a sudden. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, you know what I mean? A little bit. Frederico Tate. Alright, enough of that. Let's dive into my actual process of creating myself. How I created myself. Before we get into it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. All right, let's check it out. Let's dive in. All right, so first, I took pictures of my face from the front and from the side as reference for a few steps later on in the process. And you know, since these pictures kind of look like a like a mug shot situation going on, like I had to throw up that two one four. You feel me? Right, then I scanned myself uh, with the iPhone 11 using an app called the Scandi Pro. The app is free. Um, for good results, I lowered the resolution from one millimeter to 0.5 millimeters. Take your time as you're scanning an orbit around your subject. Take your time to get a good result because it's not a quick process. It's not a, it's not a video per se. So take your time. Then I imported the scan into ZBrush to clean up that raw scan to get rid of any holes, any um, any surface deformation. I wanted to do that inside of ZBrush, and and like always, I did get sidetracked by uh, <laughs> which you know I added a few different materials onto the scan, like gold, chrome, stuff like that, just to. Just to get an idea. And by the way, if you ever have a creative spark, get sidetracked. You know, that creative spark could lead to unexplored ideas, man. So get sidetracked and see what you come up with. You never know. You never know what you're going to come up with. All right, so then I used that front, that front reference picture of myself from the beginning as as a poly paint um and this could get kind of confusing but i use that to paint a texture onto the actual scan onto the actual 3d scan and i'll leave a link to a tutorial in the description that really helped me um as far as like figuring out how to poly paint inside of zbrush all right after i finished cleaning up the mesh inside of zbrush i got started using metahuman inside of unreal and i'll leave a link to to a metahuman tutorial in the description as well to, so you can get an idea of of how to use it and that's it so that's that's me um in 3d um sometimes rhyming is whack so 
Let's redo that. Yep, so that's me. That's my avatar. In 3D. Who else who else want to go see Avatar in 3D? Was am I the only one? Hey, leave a leave a comment in the description. Alright, so yeah, that's that's it for this video. I think the next video I want to I want to actually animate my 3D character and see how that looks. Alright, um like and subscribe. Um, thanks for checking out the video. Alright.